Cell phones. Wars and rumors of wars. Social media. Fears. The children's extracurricular activities. Grocery shopping. Work projects and deadlines. Regrets. Multitasking and doing too much at once. Stress and anxiety. Paying bills. Meal planning. Past sins. Vacations. Politics. Fatigue. Parenting. Checking emails and text messages. Toxic relationships. The future. TV. Making and keeping friends. Being on high alert. Health. News. Burnout. What is the truth? Cost of living and inflation. Technology. Lack of time. Loneliness. Grudges. So many things try to take our attention and focus, constantly trying to consume our minds with busyness. For some with hurried schedules and many responsibilities, it can become a challenge balancing spiritual life and natural life. Many of these things compete for our or lessen our devotion to Yahuwah. Multiple items on this list contribute to us not being able to quiet our minds and draw into the peace and presence of the Most High. We are living in a time where we need to be completely and totally connected to Yahuwah so that He is leading us every step of the way. If we want to stay in and keep His peace, we need to do as the Word says and be still and know that he is Yahuwah. Be still and know that I am Elohim. I am exalted among nations. I am exalted in the earth. Psalm 46, 10. Tremble and do not sin. Speak within your heart on your bed and be still. Selah. Psalm 4, 4. To be still according to the outline of biblical usage, can mean to relax, to let go, to refrain. From Strong's H7503, and for the scripture reference, Psalm 4610. It can also mean to be silent, cease, hold peace, quiet self, wait, to stop. From Strong's H1826, you can reference Psalm 4 4. For some, it can be so challenging to get to a place where they are still and quiet. So let's do a quick experiment. In a moment, we're going to stop talking, start a 30 second timer, and ask you to be still. Don't think too much into it. After we say 3, 2, 1, go, do your best to be still for the next 30 seconds. Try not to look at the timer or do anything other than be still and focus on Yah. If you need to, close your eyes. We'll be back after the 30 seconds. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. How was it? Was it easy? Was it challenging to get quiet? Were you distracted? Leave a comment on how it was for those 30 seconds. For us, there are times when it is challenging, trying to get still, and other times, not so much. If it was hard for you, don't worry. Of course, this is just an experiment. This may not have been a challenge for those who already have developed this habit of quieting down. But for those who haven't, it may take more time and practice to get yourself to be still. No matter how you did, 
We want to encourage you to take some time to be still and continue increasing the amount of time in his presence. Doing this is beneficial for us all. For those who are going through challenges or are in the midst of a tough trial, it is of utmost importance that you spend time being still so that you can learn to wait on Yahuwah and allow him to guide you. But those who wait on Yahuwah renew their strength. They will raise up the wing like eagles. They run and are not weary. They walk and do not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Yahuwah is my portion, says my being. Therefore, I wait for him. Yahuwah is good to those waiting for him, to the being who seeks him. It is good both to wait and to be silent for the deliverance of Yahuwah. Lamentations 3, 24 through 26. Rest in Yahuwah and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man doing wicked devices. Psalm 37, 7. Have any of the things listed at the beginning of this video become a substitute for Yah in your life? If so, it's time to tear these idols down. Put Yah in his proper place, which should be on the throne of your heart, and be still. We all have so much going on in life, and there's a lot going on in the world, enough to keep us all distracted. That is why we need to continually and consistently take time to be still before Yah. It's not only beneficial, it is a necessity. If being still is new to you, it may be a challenge doing it, but keep pressing through. If needed, start with a few minutes and then increase the amount of time. When things are looking good, be still. When things are looking bad, be still. When times appear rough, be still. When you don't know what to do, be still. When you need peace in your life, be still. Regardless of what's going on and how things seem, be still and wait on Yah. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Please like, share, and subscribe as this helps us to point more people to Yah. May Yah baruch you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May Yah turn his face toward you and give you peace. We love you and are praying for you. Until next time, family. Shalom. Shalom.